In an executive session on Wednesday, a House committee approved resolutions seeking to amend the 1987 Constitution. But this does not sit well with some, as they say not only was it done without public media coverage, but also for its irrelevance. Marian Enriquez tells us more. A Philippine-based human rights group slammed the House Committee on Constitutional Amendments for what it calls a discreet approval of a resolution amending major provisions in the 1987 Constitution. For Gilbert Andres, Deputy Chief of the Center Law for International Law, or Center Law, this is a grave matter of public concern requiring public media coverage. One amendment extends the terms of House members and LGU officials to five years. This, says Andres, would not only be costly, but also problematic. The problem there is how will we synchronize the national and local elections in five years yung mga senators, ang mga representatives at LGUs, when in fact six years, six-year term ang president. So it will add another election to our system. For former Chief Justice Reynato Puno, head of the Constitutional Committee reviewing the Constitution, the proposal is self-serving. Eh, parang sweetener yan para itong mga miyembro ng Kongreso ay eh, pagtibayin itong mga constitutional reforms na ito. Under the reform, there will also be three additional senators, which Puno sees as irrelevant. Eh, Di ba, napaka... Uh, Expensive nun. Kala ko nagtitipid tayo. Dadamihan mo yung powers dun, yung number ng senador. Pero ganun din naman ang powers nila. He also flags risks on easing economic restrictions to foreign investors. Ang batas na yun ay contrary to the interest of uh, the people. Yun ang ginawa namin. Hindi yung, uh, yung uh, ganyan na uh, binuksan na lang yung uh, pag-aari ng mga natural resources natin, ng lupa natin, ng public utilities natin na walang safeguards. Talo yung uh, Pilipino sa mga estranjero. Puno also does not approve of the tandem voting for the president and the vice president, even dubbing it a cosmetic reform. What the Congress should do, he said, is prohibit political dynasties. He urges instead that federalism be passed to prevent the concentration of power in a unitary form of government. For News 5, Marian Enriquez, we are One News.